To obtain an AP, supine projection of the abdomen, begin by selecting a 14 by 17 inch cassette and orientate it lengthwise in the table bucky. Align the central ray perpendicular to the image receptor. Proceed to set the source to image receptor distance, or SID, to 40 inches. Move the X-ray tube longitudinally to the end of the table so that the patient does not bump their head on it. Select the table bucky setting and the large focal spot on the control panel. Set the exposure parameters to between 65 and 75 kilovolts, or KV, and 25 to 32 milliampere seconds, or MAS. Ask the patient to lie on their back on the radiographic table with their head on the pillow. Once the patient is supine, move the X-ray tube longitudinally and center it to the image receptor. Align the central ray to the midline of the abdomen at the top of the iliac crests by moving the table top. Palpate the front of the superior iliac spines to check for rotation. Collimate all four sides to include the diaphragm, lower ribs, symphysis pubis, and lateral soft tissue borders of the abdomen. Position the lead marker within the collimated light field, then move behind the lead barrier. Check that the exposure technique is appropriate for the patient's body habitus and make any necessary adjustments. Ask the patient to breathe in, then out, and then to stop breathing. Expose the cassette and then tell the patient that they may relax and breathe normally. Remove and process the cassette. To obtain a radiograph of the abdomen in the upright position, begin by selecting a 14 by 17 inch cassette and placing it lengthwise in the upright bucky. Set the SID to 40 inches. Line up the central ray perpendicular to the image receptor. Select the upright bucky setting and the large focal spot. Set the exposure parameters to between 65 and 75 kV and between 25 and 32 MAS. Ask the patient to stand with their back against the upright bucky and move their arms slightly away from their body. Direct the central ray to the midline of the abdomen, two inches above the iliac crests. Align the image receptor with the central ray. Collimate the light field on all four sides to include the diaphragm, lower ribs, lower abdomen, and lateral soft tissue borders of the abdomen. Position the lead marker within the collimation field and then move behind the protective lead barrier. Check that the exposure technique is appropriate for the patient's body habitus. Ask the patient to breathe in, then out, and then to stop breathing. After exposing the cassette, Inform the patient that they may relax and breathe normally. Remove and process the cassette. Move on to the next projection or review the images if no further radiographs are required. To obtain a radiograph of the abdomen in the lateral decubitus position, begin by selecting a 14 by 17 inch cassette and placing it crosswise in the upright bucky. Ensure that the SID is set to 40 inches. Line up the central ray perpendicular to the image receptor and collimate to the cassette size. Select the upright bucky setting and the large focal spot on the machine. Set the exposure parameters to between 75 and 80 kV and between 25 and 35 MAS. Position the patient on a bed or stretcher in front of the upright bucky. Ask the patient to lie on their side with their back against the image receptor and with the arms and knees flexed and hands under their head. Check for rotation by palpating the shoulders and anterior superior iliac spines. Align the central ray with the midline of the abdomen approximately two inches above the iliac crests. Center the image receptor to the central ray. Collimate the light field on all four sides to include the diaphragm, lower ribs, lower abdomen, and lateral soft tissue borders of the abdomen. Place the appropriate lead markers for the patient's uppermost side and the decubitus marker on the superior aspect of the image receptor within the light field. Move behind the protective lead barrier. Check that the exposure technique is appropriate for the patient's body habitus. Ask the patient to breathe in, then out, and then to stop breathing. Expose the cassette when ready, and then tell the patient that they may relax and breathe normally. Remove and process the cassette. Review the images.